Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Renoy from OC Imaging and today I'm going to be showing you another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Let's get to it. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. A quick and simple social media insert for your videos. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create that particular image that I'm going to be using on my video. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Photoshop. So I already have a new file open in Photoshop so now I'm gonna be grabbing that PNG photo that I've already downloaded of the Instagram logo and I'm gonna bring it over to Photoshop. Once I bring that Instagram logo over I'm gonna go to the corner, press shift and resize this as I see fit. Alright so I'm making it pretty small here I'm just gonna bring it down to the middle here and that's the first part here. Once you have your Instagram logo down to the sizing that you want, I'm gonna go over here and select that rectangular tool and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle from this section all the way over to the corner here. Once that's selected, I'm gonna go ahead, change the color to black and change the opacity down to about 50%. All right, once I get to that to 50%, I'm gonna press edit up here I'm gonna go free transform and just ensure that this is centered. So I have that in the center. I'm just gonna adjust this slightly. And then once I come over to this corner, I'm gonna press control and just move this over so it gives it that effect. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the text tool. I'm gonna draw a rectangle right in here. And I'm gonna put in my Instagram name, which of course is OC Imogen. move this around to about the sizing that I want. The 36 right now, 48 seems just fine. So that was pretty quick and simple. Once we're finished with this, we're gonna go ahead and save this as a PNG file. PNG. And I'm just gonna name this video insert. Once that is out of the way, you can go ahead and open up the DaVinci Resolve or your timeline that you have. And as you can see, I have a video in here right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and have that clip inserted into this video. And now move over to DaVinci Resolve and drag this onto your timeline. Once that is completed, just press play and you'll see that video insert. And guys, I do have to apologize for the frames that are being skipped here. Now after doing this, if it is that you don't want it to just pop in frame like that, there are actually a few things that we can do. There are four options, but to keep this video as simple as possible, I'm just gonna be using two. So let's take a look at this. One of the options that are gonna use is that size up, and the other one is enter from the side, the top, or the bottom. In order to somewhat animate the insert reveal, we'll need to use our keyframes. So with the cursor on the very first frame of the video insert, we're gonna go up to the inspector tool and we're gonna select the zoom option here. We're gonna bring this down until it's completely invisible. So there we go, it's completely invisible. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a keyframe here and we're gonna move to about 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 frames right there. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna select the keyframe once more and bring this back up to whatever sizing that you desire. So we're gonna put this all the way up to one, which is where it was originally. So once you go back to that first frame, it's gonna be invisible. And of course, once this plays, you're gonna see that grow and come into frame. And for the ending of the video, we're basically gonna, do, basically gonna do the same thing in reverse. So we need to bring this back down to zero. And we're gonna move, we're gonna move backward 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 frames there. And we're gonna put this back at one. So now what will happen is when the video is playing, your video insert is just gonna grow into the frame. And then at the end, it's gonna shrink out of frame. And that's how you do the size up. 
Now the other option that I told you guys about was entering from side top or bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and do an enter from side. So I'm gonna go and click back on the video insert here. So once you're back at that first frame on the video insert, we're gonna move this down a bit, all the way down to the bottom. And then we're gonna move it all the way over until it's completely out of frame. All the way over. All right, once you can't see it anymore, you're gonna go ahead and hit keyframe, and then you're gonna move 10 frames or 12 frames. It depends on how exactly you want it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we're now gonna move this into frame. Let me just put it right at the corner here. All right, so once you go back to the start of the clip, it's not gonna be there. But of course, once you move forward, it's just gonna come into frame. So that was my quick and simple tutorial. If you guys wanna check out a more technical way to achieve this effect, you can check out That Modern Dude's last post with a similar title. I'll link his video below. If you liked what you saw and wanna see more simple DaVinci Resolve tutorials, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Once again, this is Renoy from OC Imogen telling you guys just to live, love, and laugh. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.